Watch that, it's a huge pig. Mm. I see grass. Oh. Oh, yeah, sure enough, I see it now. That is a huge pig. There's a bunch. Let's get them. What's up guys, it's Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and uh, I've got my personal assistant. She's she's a driving Miss Daisy. We're gonna say that's Daisy. Anyways, some of you'll know what I'm talking about. I know Emily has no clue, but uh, youth rifle season has been rough. It's 90, it was 92 degrees. It is 92 degrees right now. And uh, it's too hot to deer hunt. I told Emily it's kind of a waste, waste of our time, but the stinking pigs have moved in and we hadn't had pigs on our property in two months in the last three nights there's been a group of 10 or 12 showing up where we're trying to deer hunt on our property um stinking because you'll have your seatbelt on we're on jimmy's private property right now we're on his driveway but it's a two mile long driveway so anyways letting emily do a little bit of driving she's pulling the trailer behind us we're gonna go load up our big pig trap and uh take it back home set it up there because we got a pig problem to take care of there so hey at the bottom of this hill you're going to turn right okay well not right here but once it finally drops off at the bottom of the hill at the bottom of this hill <laughs> better slow down elk out today it is a uh, 92 degrees though slow down just pull up over there beside the trailer or by the trap slow down put the trailer beside the trap good job good job made it here safe so we're gonna go ahead and load the uh the trap up and it's not because there's no pigs here there's no pigs to be caught uh there's still pl plenty of pigs on this ranch but we do have a pig problem at home that i want to take care of and with it being deer season i don't want to try to find other places to trap on jimmy's ranch right now let's we'll just get past deer season and we may do some more trapping over here but the main problem i've been having is his elk herd um the elk are um, fun to look at. They're neat. They're cool. But they are a menace when it comes to this trap. And I've had a lot of people offering different suggestions and things. But the fact is, when you get a 800-pound cow and a 1,000-pound bull, I don't know, however, however big these elk are, rubbing on and bumping up against the trap and the camera and all that stuff, they're just rough on it. So um, to save a problem of an elk accidentally getting trapped in this trap you know they get in there bounce around they're gonna drop it on their self and we'll have a problem so we're gonna take it home and do some pig trapping there what is that <sighs> did you get poop on your chin poop on i burnt myself with a curling iron trying to curl your beard <laughs> Earl, what in the world? Why did you go get in the muddy lake? You got to ride in the truck. Dang you. No, look at you, you're green. You're green. Nasty. Slow down. Like in a pasture. There's nothing wrong with going 10 miles an hour in the pasture. Oh. 
Well, we made it home with the trap. This is the big field where Houston harvested his deer just a few days ago. And actually right over here was where we had uh, Josh's trap set up for several months. And uh, that's that was last summer, but the pigs are traveling through here. Matter of fact, Emily and I saw them right here this morning when we were hunting. So they'll be back and they've been here three or four nights in a row. Um, pigs are pretty uh, predictable once they establish a pattern. So we're gonna get this trap set up, bait it, and uh, see if we can catch some of these pigs. I broke a nose. You don't have a broken nose. You have a crooked nose. You can do it. What I do it? Put one on one side. Put the wrench on one side. Put the socket on the other. Okay. You're gonna have to keep an eye on that wrench and make sure it stays tight, okay? It stays on there so it's not just spinning. What? Oh my goodness. Do I keep it like that? Yeah. There you go. Oh Ooh. no. Did it get tightened all the way? I think so. Okay. Do that one down there. Hey, I don't pull the trigger until you got the socket on there. <laughs> you were spinning your wheels. There. Put the socket on the nut. It's not on there, see? Where's it at? Now it's on oh. there. It's not tight. You'll know. Keep going. There you go. Watch your gap right here. It'll tell you if it gets tight. See? There you go. Good work. Since the pigs are already conditioned to eating the Lucky Buck Freak Factor. Uh, we might as well give them what they want. All right, safety pins are out. Trap set, baited, ready to go. Camera's running, and uh, I bet you we have some pigs in here in a day or two. Well, 6.40 on the very first morning, and our big black pig's here. I think I was scrolling through some pictures through the night, and he came in. The rest of the group's not there, but when one comes, the rest will follow. But that's a pretty good-sized boar hog right there. And we're getting a little bit of rain, as you can see. All right, well, tonight will be catch night if, if my buddy David Ellis is right, and I believe him, because uh, tonight will be night number three that the trap's been here, and the first night we had one big black boar hog come in, and he was running with that group, that whole sounder. I've seen him with them on pictures on my trail camera multiple times, and then last night, probably could have caught five or six. I didn't wake up, but there's at least 10 or 12 in this group. I don't think we can catch all of them at once. 
but <clears throat> last night the probably five or six or something like that came in cleaned up all the feed in the trap and that's a good thing i'm not complaining because I, I slept in you know and didn't catch pigs at 3 a.m this morning but we're going to rebate the trap we got our uh, root and juice secret sauce and some feed just the feed that i feed uh all the livestock at the house so we're going to bait it up and tonight it's probably going to be catch night and i'm about out of my uh my root and juice here so i added some water to it to kind of thin it down because when it gets cool like it is right now it does not like to pour out but it'll still get the scent and the flavor everything on the ground and that's all we're really looking for so i bet you the sweet corn and molasses root and juice does the trick tonight look at there i already have i already have one victim well, I wasn't wrong. I knew the pigs would be back after uh, after them coming in and eating all the bait out of the trap last night. And here we are. It's 8.45, 8.46. And uh, the big the big boar hog is there. But my guess is, is probably there's more not far behind. And I spread quite a bit of feed out around the trap. So let's see what we get. I'm glad he's there early. I really don't want to have to wake up at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning to catch these pigs. All right, I've been watching this guy for about 10 minutes. And uh, it doesn't look like there's any other pigs with him. He's been to the trap two or three times. The big group came in. There was like six there last night or whatever. But I just talked to Josh, and he said he'd just come get this guy tonight. And he looks like a pretty good size um, male, which was a boar hog. So we're going to go ahead and drop the trap on him and uh, go get him and then reset the trap tonight. So, Yes. Yes, sir. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Ha! Are we going to get him tonight? Yeah. Oh, pigs out there. Pigs out there? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is a huge pig. Ooh, I see grass. Oh. Oh, yeah, sure enough, I see it now. That is a huge pig. Well, it better not be this huge pig. Well, this one's still in here. He's pretty good size. Yeah. Not, not as big as that one, though. No. That thing was humongous. Ow. Houston just spotted a giant pig running across the field, so there's more in the area, huh? Yeah. Josh is here with the trailer. Now I'm kind of scared that one's going to sneak up right behind me. Here, watch that sucker. We don't want him jumping out. Come on back. Well, got about another foot and a half. Hey, Houston just spotted another another one that was a lot bigger than this, headed across this hay field. Probably 300 pounds. I thought this least. was the biggest one, but yeah. that one was big. Yeah. This one ain't little. bears over here. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of scared that, a, that that pig is going to sneak up behind us. Come on back. Come on back. Come on back. That'll work. Hey, that other pig's not going to sneak up on you. He's uh headed the other direction. He might come back tonight. Maybe. Maybe. Might get lucky. I guess his, he'll probably come back a different night. Yeah, there's a group of at least 12. But this one's been here multiple times alone. And uh, He looks a lot smaller on camera. He looks a lot smaller in person than in camera to me. He looked big on camera. But he ain't little. He 
Easy that enough. Was, that was quick. Yep. He went from a free pig to trapped and in the trailer in about 20 minutes. Now he's headed off to the hunting range. One pig down. So we brought the trap. Emily and I set the trap up on Saturday afternoon. This is Monday evening. So night three, I told you guys, that's David Ellis, the old Yacht Yacht swears you're going to catch him on night three. Yep. We went ahead and dropped the trap on the big boar hog. And uh, Houston spotted a really big one in the field when we got there. But we know there's a whole another group of 12, at least 12 in the area. So there's a good chance we may catch more tonight. If not tonight, I guarantee in the next couple nights, yes. we'll be dropping that trap again. Yes. Houston got a little shaken up. He got kind of scared. Yeah, because there was this giant hog in the field behind us. And uh, I kind of thought that it was going to sneak up on us because it was like bigger than us combined. Well, you know why you didn't need to worry about that? Because he was like 25,000 yards away. This guy. Oh, yeah. Bear was there. He was keeping watch. Yeah, he was. All right, let's go to bed. It's not. Yeah, it's uh, let's go. it's getting late. Yeah, let's go. Well, I guess I messed up last night. I, I did my best to stay awake and try to capture these pigs in the trap. I, Josh and I thought they would come back, and they did. I woke up for every little every little possum, raccoon, deer, everything most of the night. At 5 o'clock this morning, the pigs came in. I didn't wake up until 5.30. And I even had all my notifications turned up as loud as I could on my phone. But at 5.30, I woke up, turned the camera on pulled it up anyways and there were like seven pigs in the trap and i was kind of trying to count still half asleep anyways waited too long trying to get them all in there didn't drop the trap one of them bumped it shook it and they all left and uh it's the pits because that was night three we knew we were going to catch them and i was right well let's say yacht yacht was right and uh I don't know. They'll be back tonight, so I got a bucket of feed. I'm going to rebait it, and uh, we'll catch them tonight. Ooh, looky here, looky here. We got a trap full of pigs. After as long as I waited for these last night, I'm not going to piddle around as long tonight. I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven in there. And I think this is my big pig. There's a bunch. Let's get them. Golly. I'm not sure how many is there. Six or seven. got a bunch in there but we didn't catch the big black one i thought he was in there but i guess not unless he got out there's a pretty good size one in there i don't know that might be him
Bella, Bella, get over here. Whoa, perfect. There's one running around here that was in here last night. I guarantee it's probably gotta be close to 300, but he's by himself and uh, I don't know if it's the one me and Houston saw in the field last night or not, but it was big. I wasn't gonna pass these up again. <laughs> There's a couple pretty good ones in there though. All good ones. They're not stirred up or anything. Yeah, there's two of them pretty good size. We got 10 though, Houston. Yeah. Yeah, there's two right here, pretty good sizes. Really, Bella? Hey, I'm just glad she's not barking. and follow the leader. Could have been hurt already though, Houston. That one was like a bad job. Two pretty nice ones in there. Right there, Houston. <laughs> hey, you stayed up past your bedtime on a school night, but you're still yeah. learning something, right? Yeah. And I wake up in the morning and I get to school on time. So. Well, I told you guys tonight was going to be the night. After we missed that opportunity last night, um, I knew they'd be here. Luckily, they showed up at like 9 o'clock and they didn't have to stay up all night. But yeah. can you see that? You see our breath? It's a little chilly tonight. Tonight is supposed to be our first night below freezing this fall. Um, it's so it's probably in the 30s right now. And uh, I didn't rebate and reset the trap tonight. I'll run over there and do it in the morning. I don't want to stay up half the night waiting to see if another pig comes in. But we caught 10, 10 pigs in the big pig trap. I'm telling you, that thing, if you're looking for a pig trap, look up big pig traps, hog eye, uh, cameras. I'm telling you what, works great. And uh, I know for a fact I've counted at least 12 in that one group. So there's a couple more running around, and there's a really big black one still out. So uh, And right before we started leaving, we heard... A very, very, very deep grunt coming yep. from the trees. Yep, we know there was one that was watching us, probably. So, uh, more pigs will be caught, I bet you. But, anyways, we're going to get in the house and go to bed. Because it's like 1030 on a school night. And this guy's got to get him to go to school in the morning. So, yeah. uh, like I said, woo, chickens are out here. The chickens are really confused. They've all come down off of where they were roosting because of the lights. But, anyways, um, big pig trap. Huge thank you. Huge, huge thank you for that. Um, hog guy game, hog guy uh, trap cameras. Guys, I'll leave a link in the description box. Go check them out if you're looking for a pig trap. Uh, works like a champ. Yeah, it does. And none of these jumped out, I don't think. None of them. Uh, well, we weren't that missing. We saw, that we saw. Oh, sorry, when we were over there, none of them jumped out. So, no. um, anyways, that's 11 more pigs headed off to the hunting ranch. Uh, removed from our property, not to be um, an issue here. Wait, so. 11. We caught one last night and 10 today. Oh, I, th I thought you were adding up just from this night. Nope, all together. Oh. Oh. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. You and, guys have a great day. And always, and as always, we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Mm -hmm.